found Mr. Reardon yet? We can't sign this contract without him. I'm trying to find him, Mr. Smalley. I can't find the old man anywhere. Well, keep trying. Oh. Hello. That San Francisco call is still waiting for Mr. Reardon. Well, they'll have to wait. Yes? War Department in Washington calling Mr. Reardon. Tell them to hold the wire. Have you located Mr. Reardon yet? No, no. Pardon me, I'd like to see Mr. Reardon. Well, so would I. You men go back to work. Number three tap holes frozen. Get the oxygen tank. Get the oxygen port comes through the bottom. Give me that rock. It isn't beating enough. Here's the oxygen. Take it away. I won't need it. Wake up. Who's calling me a hunk of slag? Put me down. What are you fellas doing here? Get back to work. You gave me a scare that time, Bill. I'll give you more than that. Just because I closed my eyes for a second, start lugging me around. I guess I am a hunk of slag. Why didn't somebody tell me his heart was bad? You should have realized his age, Tons. Yeah, I should have. Somebody ought to punch me in the chin. How you feeling, Bill? Say, what? Who brought me home? Oh, I did. I figured it was the best place for you. You mean you figured there's a good way to kill time? I'll get back to work. You too, Susan. I know if everybody doesn't start loafing the minute I turn my back. Now go on. Both of you. Okay, Bill. Yes, Mr. Redden. Come on, Doc. Say your say. I told you to go slow, Bill Redden. Now your heart's going back on you. Can the I told you so stuff? How far back? Will I? Come on, Doc. Spill it. I can take it. Bill? Your time's short. Not bad, eh? Yes. How short? Well, it's hard to say. Maybe days, maybe minutes. And if I count on days, it's liable to be minutes, eh? Well, I can't afford to take a chance. I've got to get busy. How about some of those pills? These will keep the old furnace hot, eh? Yeah. Oh, you can carry me when I'm gone, not before. Get my coat. Yes, sir. But I say, Don't say sir. nothing. Do as you're told. Yes. Doc, call the trust company. Tell Smalley to leg it to my office. Your office? Oh, you can't do it, Bill. It's suicide. It'll be murder if you try to stop me. I've got something to do before I leave this world. And if I don't get it done, my whole life's wasted. I know, but why not have Smalley come over here? This way's quicker. Where's the car? At the side entrance. Good. 
Beginning to look like yourself again, boss. Sure. You ever wear a white shirt? Yeah, on Sundays. Well, starting tomorrow, you can pretend that every day is Sunday. What are you gonna do? Don't know yet. Maybe play a harp, maybe shovel coal. I ain't got time to stand here joking. Neither have I. This is on the level. Tons, do you remember my son? Bill Jr.? Sure. Is he still painting abroad? Is he? Look. That's one he made in Paris. Not bad. Not good, either. He's got the head all out of proportion. I never noticed. A fine occupation for a steel man's son. It's a fine occupation for anybody. Who's joking now? All right, Bill. What do you want to tell me about Junior? He's on his way home for a visit. Gee, that's swell. Perhaps. He's been away for 12 years now. I bet you'd be glad to see him. If I don't live that long. Don't talk like that, Bill. You're a fighter. We're both fighters, Tons. You and me and steel men. I only wish that Bill were. You should have made him come home when his mother died. I should never let her take him away. It's about the only fight you ever lost, Bill. Well, maybe I haven't lost it yet. There's something in my will I want you to do. What's the idea of talking about your will? Because they may be reading it soon, and I want to be sure it's carried out. What is it you want? If I tell you, you'll give me an argument, and I'm not in the mood for arguing. Listen, Tons, up till now, I've always ordered you about. Now I'm asking you, will you promise? You put it like that, Bill, it's got me over a barrel. Yeah, I promise. Oh, good. That kind of settles everything. <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, gentlemen, you got that? Yes. Let's see, uh, read it back. Gentlemen. Yeah, let's see. Gentlemen, you gave us an order for some material, and we shipped it to you. What's the idea of stalling on the payment? Uh, it takes money to run a steel mill, uh, same as any other joint or business. So let's see the color of some of your dough, uh, money. M money. Yours truly. Read that back, Susan. Gentlemen. In going over our accounts, we find you have not remitted for your last order, which was shipped three months ago. We would appreciate a check at your earliest convenience. Yours very truly. Exactly. Just as I said. We don't write a bad letter, do we, Susan? No, we don't. See, you're wonderful. I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> well, Mr. Walker, this is not the way to treat your secretary. Oh, it ain't, huh? Maybe that's better. Besides, you ain't gonna be my secretary long. I'm not. You and me's gonna get married. You and I. You and I what? You and I are going to be married. Oh, what's the difference? You and I, you and me. It's us any way you say it. But I must get these papers down to the trust company right away. Oh, wait a minute. Not before you give me a kiss to seal the bargain. Why, Mr. Walker. And don't call me Mr. Walker. We've known each other for 15 years. I ain't any different than I ever was. You better give in because I ain't gonna. That'll be all, Miss Bailey. Yes, Mr. Walker. You sent for us and... Hey, what's the idea of barging in without knocking? We didn't know you were so busy, Mr. Walker. Oh, uh, you too. Where do you get that Mr. Walker stuff? 
Don't let this shirt fool you. The name is still Tons. Okay, Tons. That's better. The reason I had you boys come up was, well, I want to thank you for coming through for me. Here, have a cigar. Gee, thanks. You bet, by Gotti. I et mine. Hey, how's it feel to be a big shot, Tons? Uh, I wish the old man had left me back in the mill. Say, speaking of the old man, I wonder what this kid of his is like. I'll tell you what he's like. He paints pictures. Paints, paints pictures? pictures? Yeah. Can you imagine what he's gonna do to this joint when he takes it over? Well, let's get back to work. Yeah. Don't let it get you down, Tens. It's enough to get anybody down. You've sweated, I've sweated, we've all sweated to make this mill what it is. And now this young squirt's coming in and spoil everything. He was a pain in the neck to the old man and he's a pain in the neck to me, too. Maybe you're a pain in the neck to him, too. Who are you? How'd you get in here? Well, the door was open. There wasn't any reception committee, so I just walked in. Can I come in? Sure, come on in. This is Mr. Walker. Hiya. My name is... Yeah, uh, I know. William Reardon, Jr. It, me? I'm Eddie Plunkett. My pals called me Forky. That's Bill. So you're Reardon, Jr. Yep. The artist, the pain in the neck. Uh, I might have known. I'm inclined to disagree with you. You don't look to me like a man of very keen perception. Is that so? Well, there ain't nothing wrong with my eyesight. Now, if you were a man of keen perception, you'd realize that your occupation of this office is going to terminate very, very abruptly. In other words, Mr. Walker, when I take over my father's affairs, I'm gonna throw you right out on your ear. Oh, you are, eh? Well, until that time, this is my office, and I'll do the firing. Now, get out. Okay. And you too, you overstuffed raccoon. You can't do that. I'll see my lawyer. I didn't like to do that, Bill. But I guess it's for the best. And to Jarvis, I leave his position in my house as long as he wants it. And an income of $250 a month for the rest of his life. Stop grinning like a fool, Jarvis. It says that right here. Mr. Reardon dictated this. Uh, that's all that concerns you, Jarvis. Very well, sir. The balance of my estate... I leave to my son, William Reardon, Jr. Only under the condition that he work for the Reardon Steel Company for a period of one year from date. During that time, Tons Walker will live in my house, occupy my former position at the mill, draw my salary, and be in complete charge. Why, that's ridiculous. Shut up, Bill. This is for your own good. He says that right here, too. It is further specified that my son will change his name to Bill Hall and his true identity be kept secret for this period. What's the idea of that? Keep quiet, Bill, and listen. Wait a minute, you sure that's in there too? Yes, sir, here it is. My reason for this is because you have been getting by on my name long enough. If my son fails to work for this one year period, during which time he cannot be discharged, then his share of my estate will go to Tons Walker. Signed, William Reardon, Sr. Let me get this straight, Smalley. I'm to work for the company for a year under the name of Bill Hall. And if I don't, everything goes to Walker here and I get nothing. That's the sum total of it. I'll break the will. Not a chance. So you stole what was mine. Stole what's yours. Listen, who worked with the old man for 20 years? Not you. Who went without pay for six months at a time? Who sweated and slaved to make this mill what it is today? Me, not you. Stole what's yours. Don't make me laugh. But Mr. Reardon, if you work under these conditions, 
you'll come into your inheritance in one year. Say, what chance would I have lasting a year out with this guy riding me? I know what kind of work he'd give me. You guessed it. I'd either make a steel man or a dead man out of you by the time I was through with you. And my perception tells me you'll never make a steel man. And that I'll own the outfit in a year. What do you think of my perception now? It's improving. It's too bad I'm not going to stay around here. I could teach you a lot of things, big shot. So long, gentlemen. I may see you again sometime. Come on, Porky. Hello. Say, who was that young lady that just went to the house? Oh, that was Miss Susan Bailey, Mr. Walker's secretary. She is, huh? Yes, sir, and her mammy owns a boarding house down by the mill. Hey, what's the idea of walking out on a million bucks? You know we ain't got a dime. Who says I'm walking out? Ain't you? I should say not. Little Willie's no fool. Who was that young man that just left? Never mind that. Where are those contracts? In the black case. started filing the Union Steel Company under the S's and the Ben Green Company under the B's and the... Did I do that? You certainly did. Can't you tell the difference between first and last names? Sure. Your first name is Susan and your last name is Bailey. I'm beginning to think I made a mistake in giving you a job. Oh, don't say that. All I need is a little more instruction. I've spent more time with you now than I have on my own work. Here, now file these correctly. Yes, ma'am. Union. You, you. Here it is. Is this necessary? No, but it makes working a pleasure. Did anyone ever tell you that you're a very fresh young man? Did anybody ever tell you that you're a very pretty young lady? Take your arms down. Not until I find the F's. Yeah. Flowers. For you, teacher. Who says I don't know my filing? Now, how about going to an S? S show with me tonight. No, thank you. Can't you ever say anything but no? Yes. Then you will go? No. What are you guys doing in there? Come on out. Come on out of there. I can see your feet. Come on, you can't hide. What are you doing here? I'm a special courier. A what? A messenger boy. In this mill, don't be silly. Where's the other half of your team? Come on, answer me. Well, he, he's down, uh, down, uh, down. Uh, he's that way. So you finally went to work, eh? Sure. That's the conditions of the will. What's the idea of the eye shade? My eyes are weak. Yeah? You tried to pull a fast one on me and hide under it. Why, Mr. Walker... How long have you been here? A month, four days, and uh, three hours. And it's been very pleasant up to now. A month, eh? In ten months, 27 days, in exactly five hours, the company will be mine. Yeah, and you figure to spend that time up here. Well, you can't learn the business that way. 
Oh, yes, I can. From A to Z. Yeah, but not from scrap iron to steel, and that's the most important part. Perhaps. But filing has its technical side, too. For instance, where would you file the Ben Green correspondence? Yeah, never mind that. You come with me, and I'll show you where we file the shovels. I pretended I was still terribly sick. And she broke her date with him and held my hand till 11 o'clock. <laughs> and the faint was only a phony? That's all. I was plenty tired, though. Boy, that's, that's what I call a smart trick. Porky, you got to be smart to get a soft job like this. Only dumb guys use shovels.
Walker was boss and she'd just have to get another filing clerk. He may be the boss, but I'll make him wish he never bossed me. What are you gonna do? Porky, every man can be hurt in some way. And with tons, it's Susan. And I'm going to take her away from him. Oh, I ain't gonna help you. They put you in jail for kidnapping. Look, I'm not gonna kidnap her. I'm gonna make love to her. And when I get through, she's gonna throw rocks at him. Catch on? Tons. Hard at it, huh? Yeah, it seems like there's no end to it. If I was you, I'd ease up on this night stuff. Who's gonna do it if I don't? Oh, it ain't the work I'm thinking of. But Susan. Yes, I have neglected Susan for the past few months. But Susan and me understand each other. She might understand you, Tons. But no man ever understood a woman. You take my advice and marry her before you slip on the peel of the wedding bell. Well, that sounds serious. It is. I felt the same way about a girl once. That's why I'm still doing my own washing. <laughs> Good old Steve. <laughs> but you are going to marry her, ain't you? What do you mean by that? Oh, I mean, the boys was beginning to think maybe you wasn't. Why? Oh, I don't know. Unless, because you've been going with her for such a long time, it ain't seemed to got no place. Guess I better straighten the boys out. I've got it. I'll announce our engagement at the skating party. Now you said something. Hey, but keep quiet. Because I want to surprise Susan, too. You can count on me, Tons. Yeah, that's right. I want to surprise her. He kept saying she was wrong. She said she was wrong. So they skated round the floor and they headed for the door. But looking for keeps when they fell in a heap on a certain Saturday night. you leave me alone? Oh, you are my boyfriend. I fall. Yeah, but you don't have to fall all over me. Oh, Porky. What's the matter with you? Last night you said you liked me. Yeah, but can't you understand it was dark and I couldn't see? <laughs> but this night it will be dark again, I think. Yeah, but not dark enough. <sighs> Simmy. Tons of like that. Mr. Walker? Yeah, are you the guy from the jewelry store? Yes, sir. I've been waiting for you. What kept you? Uh, I was a teen, sir. Did you bring the sparklers with you? Yes, the finest we have in stock. Now, uh, just what type of ring do you wish? What do you mean, what type? Well, is it for an elderly woman, or...? Hey, what do you think I am, a, a gigolo? Oh, I beg your pardon, I, I just wanted to help. You see, uh, people's tastes change with age. Oh, okay. Well, my girl's young. She's the prettiest girl in the whole world. Well, why should I like the Venus to Nilo? I never met her. 
without, I mean the woman without arms. Hey, my girl's got arms. They're beautiful, they're soft oh, and smooth. Of course, I was mistaken. Now, if I were a young and beautiful girl, I'd, uh, I'd take uh, this one right here. Isn't that gorgeous, hmm? You think anybody'd buy it for you? Why, it's a baguette model, the latest design. Ain't bad. How much is it? Why, it's only $7,000. Seven thousand? Hey, don't let this house fool you. I'm only a steel worker. How much is this? Three hundred. It's the most inexpensive ring I have. It's fine, I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, here's the box for it. And, and uh, here's the little pamphlet we give with each ring. It tells you how to propose. I don't need that. My girl's waiting for me now. All I gotta do is slip this ring on her finger. Goodbye. and get some air. Glad to see you. Hiya, Julie. We thought you were a high hat. Oh, no. Where you been? Been out there uh, getting this. Ain't it a beauty? Boy, won't Susan be proud of that? Yeah. When are you going to tell a bunch about your engagement? Right after this number. Where is she? Oh, she's around somewhere. Isn't she? Hello, Mr. Walker. You looking for someone? Yeah, Miss Bailey. She's out there on the balcony. Thanks. Oh, hello, Mr. Walker. I'd like to see Susan alone. Sure, sure.
I don't know what to say, Tons. There isn't much to say. You love him, don't you? I'm awfully sorry, oh, Tons. Oh, no, no. I've been trying to get up courage enough to tell you, Oh, but... you poor kid. It ain't your fault. It's mine. I... I sort of figured you belonged to me. Sort of took you for granted. I guess that ain't the only way to treat me when you love. Bill Hall wouldn't. He's smart, on his toes. Knows just what it takes to make you happy. Say, and you can take my word for it, he's gonna make a great steel man. It would make it so much easier if you'd only say you hate me for... Oh, you can't hate me when you love, Susan. You, you try and make him happy. And if you're happier with him than you are with me, well, he's the guy for you. Come on, now, cheer up. There ain't nothing to be sad about. That's better. Say, when are you going to get married? He hasn't asked me yet. He hasn't, huh? Well, come on, let's go inside. It was worth all the back aches and blisters in the world just to see the look on his face. Something tells me he shouldn't have done it. Everybody! Come on up here, Clo. Come on! I have, I have some news that I think's gonna make you happy. Susan here's become engaged. <laughs> to Mr. Bill Hall. Let me be the first to congratulate you. Hold! Hotel in New York. Yeah, 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 reverse the charges. Hey, break this up! Hello, Elaine, this is Porky. Oh, things are in a terrible mess out here. You better come right away. What is it? What is it? Wait a minute, Mother. What's the matter, Porky? It's, it's about Bill. Hello? Hello? What's happened? I don't know. Something's happened to Bill. I knew you should have married him in Paris. Come, we'll go back to him at once. Get me an ambulance. I don't know. I'm not so happy the way things turned out. You're not so happy. <laughs> How do you suppose I feel? All tied up so I won't fall apart. I thought I was going to get a lot of satisfaction out of taking Susan away from Walker. Instead, I feel like a heel. You should. Not that I want to get mixed up in it, but just what are you going to do next? Marry Susan. She must love me or she wouldn't have let Walker announce our engagement. Yeah, but do you love her? Gee, I don't know, Porky. Susan's a wonderful girl. But I've spent so much time planning this out and hating Walker. I'm all confused. Why, it's even gotten so I like my job. Can you imagine that? William Reardon Jr. getting a kick out of working. Boy, you are confused. I wonder what you'll be when Elaine arrives. Elaine? Coming here? Yeah, I, I sent for her. You sent for her? Wait a minute, you, you wouldn't hit a cripple, would you? Well, what'll I do? What'll I do? I got it. What? You go to Turkey and marry both of them. If 
William is conscious, we'll get a minister and have the ceremony performed right away. Mother, how can you talk like that when Bill may be dying? Gracious heavens, I hope not. The thought of the reared and fortune going to charity is positively unbearable. Mother, did you ever hear of anyone marrying for love? Don't be childish, Elaine. Love is for uneducated people. Doesn't someone answer this bell? Oh, there you are. Whom did you wish to see? We've gone to see Mr. Reardon. Take us to him immediately, please. Beg your pardon, madam. Mr. Reardon is not here. You mean he's at the hospital? Hospital? He was in an accident, wasn't he? Oh, no, madam. Mr. Reardon is hale and hearty. Oh, thank heaven. When do you expect him home? Beg your pardon, madam. I am not expecting him. This is not Mr. Reardon's residence. Not his residence? But wasn't this the home of Mr. Reardon Sr.? Uh, yes, madam. But Mr. Walker resides here now. Mr. Walker? Who's Mr. Walker? He's the gentleman who inherited the estate. Inherited? You... you mean William was left penniless? I'm afraid so. At present, he's a steel worker in the mill. You see... Uh, uh, my spelling saucer. I feel faint. Is Mr. Walker married? Uh, no, madam. But he had plans until Mr. Reardon uh, <coughs> uh, chiseled him out of his girl, uh, to, to put it vulgarly. Oh, so that's what Porky meant. Oh, thank you, my good man. Sammy Lane. I'm certainly glad I didn't let you marry William in Paris. Your whole life would have been ruined. Oh, let me think. Mr. Walker isn't married, and he owns the Reardon fortune. There's only one thing for us to do. Walker's our man. For once, I agree with you. You look lovely, dear. I can't understand why you haven't had at least three marriages already. Perhaps I've had too much management. Or not enough. The idea of being single at your age. Well, I'm only 26. 22, dear. Oh, why it was always so becoming to you, Elaine. <gasps> Men fall for it. It always suggests... Uh, I know. Purity and innocence. Don't mock your mother. I'm not mocking you, Mother. But you certainly should have been a marriage broker. You have such a definite idea of what constitutes happiness. I certainly have. Plenty of money. Money, money, money. You're always talking about it. And why not? Isn't this a capitalistic age? You're impossible. You remind me of my fifth husband. Oh, that was your father. Father was your sixth. Oh, yes, yes, I... I always forget about poor Horace. But then we'd hardly gotten acquainted when the market crashed. Oh. Yeah. This will add a finishing touch. And can be given as a keepsake at the right moment. There. Isn't that lovely? Sweet heart, sweet heart, I just want to say.
Adams, isn't it? Yeah. Who is he with? Oh, just a girl I used to know. I didn't know you were in town. Oh, I've been here for weeks. Well, why didn't you let me know? I've been so busy. I haven't had a moment to myself. Oh, and this, I suppose, is Miss Bailey. Oh, uh, yes. I'm Miss Whitworth. May I offer you my felicitations on your engagement? Thank you. Goodbye, Bill. Come along, Tony. Goodbye. No tons could dance. You don't call that dancing, do you? This is the only one I can find. I think it's the one you want. Here are those vouchers you asked for. I think there are two here from last year. There. Anything wrong, sir? No. You don't look very happy. Oh, I'm all right. When are you and Bill going to get married? Why, I don't know. I'm going to miss you when you're gone, Susan. You've, well, you've been such a help to me on this job. Tony. Yes? I want... Good morning, darling. Aren't you uh, here rather early? Early? Why, it's lunchtime. Oh, of course it's... And I'm starving. Susan, what's the matter? Nothing. Is it Bill? No. Well, what's happened? Nothing. I'll find out. Tom! Come back here. must have suffered. Now you just lie right still and Elaine will nurse you back to health. Oh, you're not Elaine. Where's Elaine? Here I am, Mother. Elaine, what are you doing here? You should be taking care of him. No, that's Susan's job. I have Bill to look after. Bill? But I thought we'd planned for you to marry Tom's. You'd planned, darling. My plans were quite different. I love Bill. I always have, and I always will. Then, you're going to marry the money. I mean, uh, the mill. I mean, uh, Mr. Walker. That's right. Thanks to Elaine. She knew just what we needed to straighten us out. You know, the old jealousy stuff was all her own idea. 
Oh, but the fight. I didn't plan that. Would have been all right with me. It proved to me that Bill was a real steel man. Then my daughter's going to marry a pauper. Oh, I... Hate. Water. Water. Well, you, you horrid man. Here, Jarvis. Give this to Mr. Reardon. Yes, sir. What is it? It's a deed to the estate. I had Smalley draw it up the day we read the will when I thought you'd walked out. Thanks, Tons. Here's something for you, too. What is it? Thanks, sir. It's a half interest in the mill. I had Smalley draw it up a couple of days ago after I got wise to myself. Oh, you dear, dear boys, how you must have suffered. <laughs> <laughs> 